Good morning, OB Acre fans. Uh, you're probably wondering why I ain't made a video in a while. Well, I just ain't really felt like it. And I didn't really had anything pressing going on. I've been waiting for my, you know what, the new tractor. And I know Mr. Ramon's been asking about it. But I'm just about as deterred as everybody. I mean, if it wasn't, if I needed it, it would be one thing, but I don't really need it. But they're very, they're being very thorough with it. I think they're keeping it to make sure there's not, because they did do a lot of work to it. So you want to make sure before they deliver it, it's, it's all, I'm thinking that's what they're doing. I don't know. I mean, I've never dealt with these people before, but they seem like a really nice uh, family dealership that really wants to make it right. Being since, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a new customer. I think they probably want to, Make sure they not, that I'm not, you know, ticked off when I end up getting it. But um, when I talked to him, texted him Monday, he said it's all done. They had the GPS. Last time I talked to him before I went on vacation was the GPS. They were having trouble getting that program. I said they got all that done. They had one other little leak they found and they're waiting on an O ring or something. So uh, I'll wait till next week and uh, I probably won't, I might go over there this week, I don't know yet. I'm just, it's every time we call them, it's or text them, it's something new, it's something else, you know, it's like, well, just one more thing and it's gonna be done in a couple of days and this uh, weeks go by and it's still ain't done, but I think they only work on it limited time, you know, they, don't, they can't, they're not putting a mechanic on it steady because they got, when I went to their shop, you probably saw the video. I mean, it's full of tractors. They're working on, they got a lot of customers. They, they must, they must be, they're very reputable, I think. And people trust them because they have a lot of stuff in there they're working on. So if, they, if you went in there to shop with empty, then I'd be more, a little more leery. So, but anyhow, just a little bit what I've been doing, rather than waiting on that thing, but. Um, well, I got the 9130 all ready to go if, you know, because he said it was coming the other day, and so I got it out and cleaned it up and cleaned the cab out. And it looks such a sharp looking tractor. They're getting a good one. I mean, it needs, engine needs probably overhauled, but it runs good. No, no, there's nothing wrong with it. So it's sitting here ready to go. And, uh, Yesterday I got the 8770 out because I, I, I serviced it. I gotta finish. I gotta check all my oils and grease everything yet. But change all the fluid, the change the engine oil and filters and clean the cab out. I got a cylinder. I put replace these the gas cylinders on the hood. I replaced them and that was kind of a job. It's harder than I thought because they weren't direct replacements. But uh, it worked good. I'll show you here. Goes right up. Before I always had to, before I always had to push it up because they were getting, I mean, they worked about half, but we had to push really hard to get it to go up. And it was kind of, I replaced them and then the cylinder and the tilt wheel cylinder, I got, I ordered one of them. They, I got it apart. It wasn't, it wasn't hard to get out, but that's been going bad. But I cleaned all the fluids and I, uh, I cleaned it up. It was already washed, but it was a little dusty from sitting in the barn. I washed it off and I waxed it. Just getting it cleaned up. I want to check these, check the um, front end, the front wheel assist gearboxes or the planetaries. Grease everything. That I got. I'm gonna look in the book and see where all the grease tricks at. Make sure I get everything. But I want to get the planter out, and I blew everything out. I want to get the planter out, and I got a plug. I got to replace on that. So I want to get that. That's in the way back of the bar. So I got to pull the everything out, the combine out, and uh, to get to that's a whole day. I don't know if I'll do that today. It's supposed to be nice today sunny in the 40s so i might do that and the other thing i went to the national machinery show and i purchased some stalk stompers 
two of them just from front of the wheel. I just want to protect my wheel. They're expensive. I got them, so they're sitting. They're in here. When I get the corn head out sometime, I was going to do it this winter, but I don't know. Running out of time now, so I want to get the planter ready to go. But then the other thing is, I ordered a new cutter bar for the cut the green head, a SCH cutter bar with the roller guides, and got that from the elevator. <laughs> they get pretty good deals on that. They got a supplier there, so I want to put a brand new cutter bar on that. And that, and when I get that done, that header ought to be almost like new. I mean, it's uh, all the underneath I rebuilt at the fix all them skid shoes that are bad. I was gonna have a brand new cutter bar. I'm excited to try that thing because it's never worked right from the get go. But uh, I don't want to finish polishing this up and then I'm gonna go this afternoon, buddy and I are gonna go look at a tractor that he's wanting. He's wanting an old, another old Ford uh, TW. It's, it's, it looks rough, but he's been after me, so I'm gonna go look at that. And uh, I'm still looking for a call packer. What I was gonna buy, it looks like it sold, but it was questionable whether I wanted that one or not. I'd like to have something a little nicer than mine, not, this, not the same, so. But no bites on mine yet. I did that, and then uh, what else that I've been doing? Well, I worked on his tractor, and then um, just little stuff, servicing stuff, and uh, I've been busy. I've had some other things not related to the farm that's kept me really busy lately. I can't get into, but um, um been busy. So I gotta get this. Uh, I worked on the TW20. That's what I did. I had I put a new remote on here and I don't know if I showed any video on this power steering motor I had to take out there's a seal there's a goofy seal they put in them I had to replace I replaced that I took the whole power steering motor out that was kind of a pain replaced these knuckles were bad so I did all the steering the steering should be all rebuilt now on this thing it had a leak, an intermittent leak, and there's a big rubber. The planter's way back in the corner. I gotta get to. I gotta get this. I also gotta get my seed wagon out, my big wagon, double box wagon. I can get that dug out because it won't, it'll be a it'll be a, at least another month. But they'll be All bringing right. seed. All right, I'm back. I wanted to show. This is the seal that I replaced in the TW20. It goes, it's like slides over and it's goofy. I thought it was a, I thought it was like O-ring. So here's this whole thing. You slide inside that housing and then it squeezes it. Well, I just wanted to make a recommendation. I ordered this kit from, was it Allstates or something? It has a lower, upper seal kit. And it comes with this, but it wasn't the right size. It was too short, so it didn't work. I just went to a dealer, I went to Streakers in Fremont there, New Island dealer, and I got it for 84 bucks, but it was the right one that fit it in that sealed it up, so. Moral of the story is don't waste your time getting an aftermarket one. If you're thinking, if you have a leak on one of them, just go, to the, I know it's expensive, but you just need that seal. If nothing else is leaking, which mine wasn't leaking anywhere else, I just replaced that seal and it was, I mean, money well spent if you wanted to, replace the whole motor it's like twelve hundred dollars <laughs> so <laughs> i wasn't gonna do that but, but yeah i worked on that tw20 quite a bit i replaced a bunch of stuff serviced it and uh i forget what all i did but it's basically them leaks and them steering knuckles so and i'm still waiting on my other one i'm really getting anxious now they said it's done i i want i'm probably gonna go this week and look at it i'm busy today and tomorrow I think so. Uh, maybe Friday. So. Anyhow, that's what I got going on. Not a whole. I got that say that cutter bar kit in the. I'm debating on where to pull the. I gotta pull the uh, grain header out anyhow to get everything else out. I might just pull in the shop and put that cutter bar on if I get time. I mean, it would. That that takes some time to do that, and it's nice. I like working on stuff like that in the winter. 
instead of the summer because I don't like sweating and it's when it gets once spring starts I won't have any time to work on anything until summer and uh, I don't like working on it in August or September like before it's always so dang hot and uh, it's just nice working on the winter time I don't other than the planter I don't have a lot to do to the planter, just that plug to replace. So I don't have a lot to work on. So anyhow, that's where I'm at. In case anybody was worried about me, I'm sure everybody was on pins and needles when they were wondering what was going on. So <laughs> there it is. So hope you enjoy the video and hopefully there's good news coming soon. Thanks for watching. Oh, good morning and uh, welcome to another exciting addition of OB Acres. I just wanted to, it might be this is kind of an instructional video for anybody working on old junk farm equipment, planters mostly. Um, because my planter is an old piece of junk, but it does work really well and it isn't worth much. So <laughs> I'm gonna keep it, it does a nice job. Um, a couple of years ago, I don't know how long ago it was. I smashed this plug connected to my wiring sensor that goes back. When I folded it, it got caught and I, it got smashed. And it worked for several couple of years. I don't know how many years it's been. Well, last year it come loose and the pins got smashed. So I ordered new parts from Shoop. The wiring harness kit. These two, it's just you get a new, you get a new plug. You get the pins. I got a male and a female version. I ordered the little, I, th I used to have one of these. This, this is the kind of stuff I did kind of for a living with electronics and stuff. So I used to have one of these pin pushers that pushes the pins out. If people ever seen these, you put it in there. I can show it, but you put it in there and uh, it pushes the pins out, the old pins. There's a little thing that goes up and down in there. Um, it works really well, but some of the pins are damaged, but they give you all new pins for it. And I had this, I had this uh, wiring crimper from my previous job. I didn't have the right jaws, so I went online and I ordered the jaws, and somebody's going to ask me which jaws I ordered. Uh, there's a lot of different kinds, but you want, you just got to research. Well, I can, it shows the number on here. Um, if you see it, I don't know what it's, 12, 10, 15, and 20, and 18 gauge. And I forget what these are called, but if you get online and research it, you can figure it out. But this was for a coax. This used to be an Allen Bradley, but it's actually a Klein. Klein makes it for them. Klein and some other company had the same, the exact same thing, but... I just went and got ordered the jaws and put them on there and it's it works fine so now i gotta i gotta some of them are, all of them are damaged i just did one so i gotta redo all of them so um so you put it in there like that see it's in there just you don't crimp it all the way you just get it you just get it clamped it'll stop and it'll hold it then you put the wire you strip the wire back a little bit Strip the wire back and stick it in there, and then you just crimp it down. And that's this is the end result. This is the finished one, so that's the way it works. So I got all them to do, but it's a nice wintry day. It's a little bit, actually it's pretty nice out today, but this is one I just got the planner out yesterday. I had to re reorganize uh, all the equipment to get it out, pull it out of the back corner, and I want to do some work to it. I don't plan on doing a lot to it because. I'd like to get a different planner eventually, but this thing probably needs work done too. I've rebuilt it a couple of times, all new blades and everything a few years ago. So I think the blades are still all right, but, and I put all new fertilizer on you. I've seen, there's, there's a video, if you if you research 7,000 planner, I replumbed all the, all the hydraulics have been redone and the markers are separate now and I'm pulling pull with my Genesis, so. It actually works pretty good, but I eventually like to go to a 16 row. And, uh, if I do change, and actually you can buy them cheaper a lot of times. 
But all right, I want to get this fixed. And then the monitor always worked great. Uh, it's got a population monitor and all that it worked on just till I damaged that last year. The last field just quit working on me. So I'll get that replaced and then I'll check it out, make sure I'll hook it up to the tractor and I'll turn the monitor on and it'll tell me if there's any air, any faults once I do that. So real exciting work, but it's set down. Like I said, I'm not here to work on that today. So this one, I might post this video. I haven't posted any today yet, but I'll post it sometime today. Um, still waiting on my tractor. I haven't heard anything and we got some other deals going on. So I, I'm not a big hurry for it, but they said it was done, but they just needed an O-ring is all he told me. But uh, ooh, this come loose. What happened there? Figures out. Have to work on that. Okay, so that's where we're at on that, and uh, I'll get to get it out and check it out, make sure it's ready to go. Um, yeah, eventually. When I was at the egg show, they have the egg leader GPS. You can use that screen and you can use that as your planter monitor. And that's what I'd like to do. And then I would get to have a new, it would just integrate right to this. So that'd be nice. That's, I might do that. Hey, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll post this and anybody has a question. Maybe I might shoot some more video of me doing that later. That's my tripod, so. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, welcome to back here. I'm going to show you how to do one of these pins. I just did one. Um, let's see, I hope you can see. Alright. So I put this, if you put this in here, like so. Get it started. Like that. If you can see that, I got it started in there. So then I stick it in this wire. Stick it in there so the strip part is in there far enough. I want the uh, insulated part to be on the back the last little there's a little clamp at the very end of it I want the strip the insulated part to be on that so it kind of holds it in place and it don't break off easy just like that there and you clamp it all the way so it releases there it is well, that did that did all right. That did, you know, the last part. I can do it one more time. There, that did it. And that's the finished product. As you can see, it's clamped really nice. Some of these are not broke. This one needs replaced. This one needs replaced. I don't know if I should replace them all, but some of them are all right. Um, this one needs replaced. That broke off. They all got broke. They all broke off when they were from the uh, my probably when I was pushing them out of the holder. And this thing, this pin push, I was trying to show you that earlier. Let's go over here and show you this. How you push these pins out. Some of these holes are oblong because they got smashed, but you stick it in that. You stick it in that hole there. And you just push this out. It pushes it out, see? Pushes that pin. That one's probably reusable, but that's the female end of it, so I gotta do that one yet. But that's how you do it. So I got a bunch more to do. Then I just put the. They got the. I got that on there, and I put this end on, and this is the male end. So this is the 
this end that goes on here, I push, I got to put them in the corresponding, there's numbers on here, you put in the corresponding numbers, I got it wrote down how it was, it's different than the thing that I printed off, but that's how it works. Yeah, I'll get this done today, I think, so. That's what's going on, so thank you for watching.